In this video, we are going to Whoops, had to refresh there. In this video, we're going to look at the refresh view, which is a control in Xamarin Forms that basically allows you to implement pool to refresh on any kind of layout. Let's go check it out. And now let's see how all of this is implemented. You can see on the left running Visual Studio 2019 for Mac. On the right, the application is running on the iOS simulator. Of course, this also works on Windows and Android and all the things. Um, but here we can see a file new examine forms template. This is the template that you get out of the box. And we're just going to make this whole layout um, refreshable. That's a new term that I invented just now. Um, but the first thing that's probably good to know is that we have to have um, the refresh view. So whenever we wrap this around it, then um, we can only have one child. So let's format this. So you can only have the stack layout. So you have to have this single layout thing to nest all the other things in there. Um, you can't you can't remove the stack layout here because then everything will start complaining uh, that there's more than one child. You can see that this frame is okay, but then here you can say it says the property content is set more than one. So that's not going to work. Um, and not only doesn't this needs to be a, a stack layout, but the um, child of the refresh view needs to be something scrollable. So that's either the scroll view, list view, or the collection view, um, or maybe, you know, maybe you have something custom, something different, but it needs to be have that scrollable on iOS that that bouncy kind of thing. Um, so what I'm going to do here is add the scroll view. Um, let's do that. And of course, wrap this also around the entire stack layout um, and format it nicely. And whenever I save this, we can already see that the layout changed a little bit. So beware of that. This might change how your um, design looks like. But you can see that we immediately gained this refresh um, functionality right here. And what is happening is the refresh view has a is refreshing property. You can see it right here. Um, and this is automatically set to true whenever you now scroll it down. And that's why you see this scroll indicator right here at the top. Um, so we need to set the is refreshing to false whenever we are done refreshing, done loading. Um, so that's the one of the things that you can already see happening with this refresh view. Um, now you can work with this through an event or a command. So whether you're using MVVM or data binding or not. Um, so we can say here, refresh refreshing is the event. Um, we also have the refresh color. So actually, let's just check this out right now. If we make that, um, let's make that the same color as the background color of that little thing here. So our styling is, you know, nice and consistent. Whenever I save this, it updates again with hot reload. And whenever I do this now, you can see it has this nice color that is blue. That is the color that I just defined. So that is pretty, pretty cool. Um, now we can also do the refreshing with an event. And you also have I guess it's just called command, uh, which is the, the, the command that is invoked whenever you pull it down. And whenever the stuff is refreshing. So inside of that command or event, you want to do whatever is needed to refresh your view. So in this case, we could refresh the labels. But you know, the more obvious use case is whenever you have a list view or a collection view that you update the items in there that you go out to your backend server, get the new items, um, and then repopulate your list and then set the is refreshing to false. Of course, the is refreshing setting that to false can also be is also a bindable property. So you can always also data bind to that. Um, if you want to know more about data binding, it should pop up in your screen right now. Um, so you can look at that playlist and hopefully data binding uh, will become more clear to you. If there's something that you want to learn in that area, please let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can make a video for that. For now, to keep it simple, I'm just going to work with the event. So I'm going to say um, refreshing, here we go. And it can create a new event handler for us automatically. So whenever I go to the code behind right here in our main page, um, it has created this, this refresh view refreshing for us. So here we go. Um, and here I can say, uh, well, let's just do something, you know, the task dot delay. Um, and let's make it three seconds. Um, so this is just going to, you know, have some dummy delay um, to to simulate that we are loading new data. Um, and then what we want to do, um, since I'm using the code behind, I want to give my refresh view a little name. So uh, my refresh view, there we go. And 
I'm going to use that name here and I'm going to say my refresh view is refreshing is false. We need to do that else that loader keeps on going as we've just seen. So I've changed some code. So now let me stop and rerun the application real quickly right here um, so that we can see what is happening whenever we do this because now we should have a simulated thing that whenever I pull this down, one, two, three, and then it goes back up and my data is loaded. So of course, if this was a more real life scenario, you would, you know, have maybe a try catch finally block around this where you have the is refreshing in the in the finally part because um, while refreshing something could go wrong or at the end of the refresh, you need to do the is refreshing false. Um, so there's a number of things that you need to go but this is basically how you use the refresh view. Now, one other thing that we can do is, you know, maybe there is a scenario where you don't want this to uh, to refresh, maybe, you know, whenever there's no internet connection, I don't know, something like that, you can just set the um, is enabled to false, basically. Um, and whenever we do that, and I save it, hot reload updates this again, um, then you can see it doesn't scroll anymore. So I can't actually um, pull to refresh. But whenever I remove the is enabled again, um, you can see that, you know, the, the refreshing scenario is back on and I can um, um, pull to refresh again and it will do all the things as it did before. This is how you can implement basically a refresh view for all the things, um, um, all the layouts that you can do and you can determine your own logic to refresh the data in there. So that's really cool. A really powerful feature in Xamarin Forms. Um, I hope you will make good use of this. And now you've learned how to implement the refresh view in Xamarin Forms and you can pull down to refresh basically any layout that you can come up with as long as it's scrollable. So scroll view, list view, collection view, any kind of those views, you can now pull down and refresh that data. If you've liked this video, please press that like button. Um, subscribe to my channel if you're new here in that case, very welcome. Um, there is lots more to come, so please subscribe, ding that bell so you'll be notified of new content automatically. Maybe consider joining joining my channel for all the things that I've been doing um, and sponsor me a little bit that way um, for everything else. I will be seeing you for my next video and keep coding.